In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 7, Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 7, the Bible says, The Lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smited before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. In Jesus' name. In the book of Psalm 143 verse 12, Psalm 143 verse 12, the Bible says, And of thy mercy cut off my enemies, and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, every power challenging me at the edge of my miracle, I command you to fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every power challenging me at the edge of my miracle, I command you to fall down and die. I command you to fall down and die. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are watching Evangelist Joshua TV and Evangelist Joshua Animals TV. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe today. Today's topic is how to overcome evil animals in dream. How to overcome evil animals in dream. There are animals and there are animals. There are animals that attack people's destiny. There are animals that stop people at the head of their miracle. There are animals that pollute. There are wicked animals that destroy people's blessings. By the grace of God, we are going to talk about the solutions on how to attack or how to overcome these demonic animals in the dream. You have been seeing animals biting you, attacking you. You are being pursued by animals or you are being swallowed or being killed by animals in the dream. And each time you have this dream, sometimes you pray, 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 pray. It seems that the more you pray, the more these evil animals are coming to you in the dream. Today, by the grace of God, God has given us some steps on how to deal with these animals. Number one steps, how to overcome these evil animals. You have to be born again. Yes, you have to surrender your life to Christ. You have to dedicate yourself to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has come to bring life to you, to restore you, and to change your life. If you must overcome these evil animals, you have to surrender your life to Christ. Dedicate this life, this your soul to Christ, so that Jesus Christ can come in and work for you. Because when you are born again, you have opened that gate for the Holy Spirit to come in and dwell with your spirit. And once God dwells in your spirit, what happens? You begin to overcome. You begin to have victory over all these demonic animals. So the first thing is to be born again. You have to be a born again Christian. You can have that authority. You can have that power over these satanic animals. As I against you, I pray, may the Lord give you victory as you surrender your life to Christ in Jesus' name. Number two, you have to repent and confess your sin. You have to repent and confess your sin. Repentance and confession of sins are very, very important in our life. Without which, we cannot obtain that victory. We cannot overcome the enemies as sin against us in the dream. So if you must deal with these enemies successfully and you must overcome them, you have to repent from that sin. The sin of fornication, greediness, the sin of self settlement the sin of stealing, the sin of unforgiveness. You have to repent them. You have to confess that sin. Who is that person that you are here to forgive? You have to forgive that person. Show that person mercy. And at the same time, you have to confess your sin daily. Confess that sin to Jesus Christ. Once you do all these things, then you have that power. You have that privilege to overcome these evil animals in the dream. So, as a child of God, you need to repent and confess your sin so that Jesus Christ can come and help you to fight that battle so that you can hold your peace. When Jesus Christ comes, then that battles it is very sure that it will lead to your victory so confess your sins and repent from it so that jesus christ can come in and deliver you from the hands of your enemies number three you have to be baptized of the holy spirit you have to be baptized of the holy spirit the bible says all things have passed away now new things have become new until you baptize yourself in the holy spirit you cannot defeat your enemies you cannot overcome them you just discover that you are just praying, 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 that the Holy Ghost is not in you. How can someone be praying against the enemy? 
you are praying against all these witchcraft animals. And yet, these witchcraft animals keep tormenting you in the dream. So you have to baptize yourself in the Holy Spirit. Soak yourself in the power of the Holy Ghost. So you have to soak yourself. You are a Christian and you are here to baptize by water in your local church. This could be a time to baptize yourself so that you can have a new authority. You can have a new power. You can have that, you can have that grace, that virtues in you in order to overcome every battle that comes your way. So you have to baptize yourself so that there will be a new beginning, a new dawn in your life. So that that battles, you can see the hand of it. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Number four, do not be afraid of them. Do not be afraid of them. Do not be afraid of the strangers. Do not be afraid of the enemies. One of the greatest things the enemy uses to attack people is to put fear in the life of so many Christians. And once fear grips your heart, what happens? They begin to attack you. They begin to manipulate your life. As a Christian, if you must defeat and overcome any battle, any powers, you must not be afraid. You must not be scared. You, you must not be easily tempted by the enemy in the dream or in the real world. So do not be afraid. As soon as they hear of you and the strangers will submit themselves to you, it's an authority. The strangers are always, shall always submit themselves unto you because you are a child of God, because the greater ones lives inside of you. So when the greater one does not live inside of you, then that battle is a lost battle. So do not be afraid because God has not given you the spirit of fear. So when you are courageous and you are strong, then victory is yours. So do not be afraid of any problem you are going through. Do not be afraid of that nightmares or evil dreams. But at the end of the day, victory shall be yours in Jesus' name. Number five, resist them with prayers. Resist them with prayers. The Bible says pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. You have to keep on praying. If you have been praying and you are yet to see any tangible results in your life, keep on praying. Prayers gives you authority. When you are praying against the enemy, you are taking authority. You are taking power over them because God has given you power over them because he has given you power over the enemy and nothing shall by enemies hurt you. So keep on resisting that dream. Keep on tackling them. Keep on canceling that dream. Keep, keep on aborting that dream. The animals, the evil animals that always appears to you, keep on dealing with them. Bind them. Cast them out. Destroy the mountains before you. Resist these enemies with prayers. Do not be tired. Do not be weak. Do not be frustrated. Do not be discouraged. Because when you are discouraged, maybe you feel that your prayers are not working in your life. No, your prayers are working. So keep on resisting that evil dreams. And at the end, victory shall be yours in the name of Jesus. So the dream of snake, the dream of dog, the dream of frog, the dream of cow shooting you or you know, eating you in the dream. Today, you shall have victory over them in Jesus' name. So keep on resisting those powers with prayers. And the Lord will come in and guarantee your victory in Jesus' name. Number six, you must place the mark of protection upon your life place the mark of divine protection upon your life. The Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. If you must deal with your enemies, you must have this backing. G David in the Bible has the backing of the Holy Spirit. He has that defense, he has that, he has that defensive head of the Holy Spirit around the life of David. If you must deal with your enemies, you must have this divine protection upon your life because that's the only thing that can guarantee your freedom. They can guarantee your victory over the enemies. Have you ever seen any soldiers going for war without any defense? Because without any defense, that soldiers or army is liable or they are liable to die or be wasted at any moment. So if you must deal with your enemies, if you must fight them, if you must overcome them, you yourself, you must have this protective hedge of the Holy Spirit around you. So that as they are attacking you, the attack will not weigh you down. I pray, may the Lord give you victory in Jesus' name. Number seven, you must daily speak in other tongues. Speak in other tongues. If you, have, if you think that prayer has failed you, if you think that praise and worship has failed you, if you think that even studying the Bible has even failed you, why can't you switch to speaking in other tongues? These are tongues that cannot be decoded by any powers, by any enemies. When you speak in tongues, the power of the Holy Ghost inside of you begin to demonstrate. And when this power demonstrates in your life, then victory 
will be guaranteed, then you will have that authority, that power to overcome these evil animals in the dream. So I challenge you today as a child of God, activate that spirit of speaking in other tongues. Speak in other tongues. Blast in other tongues. Blast in other tongues. These are tongues that are unknown to enemies. They cannot decode. They cannot understand the mystery behind speaking in tongues. So I want to hold you today. If you have any bad dreams, keep on attacking them with these tongues. And I pray the Lord will surround you with power and glory in Jesus' name. The Bible says, For the weapon of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty to God, to the pull it down of stronghold. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want you to close your eyes. Take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, every power using strange animals to attack me in the realm of the spirit, fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every power using strange animals to attack me in the dream, Fall down and die in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, any strange animals that is eating or feeding on my glory, vomit it and die in the name of Jesus. Any power, any strange animals eating or feeding on my glory, fall down and die. Vomit my virtues and die. Vomit my virtues and die. Any strange animals eating or consuming my glory, I command to vomit it and die. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this prayer point loud and clear. Say, you strange animals, I shoot you to death in the name of Jesus. You strange animals, I shoot you to death in the name of Jesus. You strange animals, I shoot you to death in Jesus' name. Say this prayer point loud and clear. Say, strange animals from my roots fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Strange animals from my roots Fall down and die in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take this last prayer point loud and clear. Say, I take authority over any demonic animals against me. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over any demonic animals against me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It is broadcast as bless you. Share to your friends and family. Once again, it's Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.